Matthew chapter 5. Um, Matthew chapter 5. I, <clears throat> I enjoyed Matthew chapter 3 and 4 so much until. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Anybody enjoyed, enjoyed that this morning? Amen. Amen. If you missed it, I'm telling you, you missed the blessing. It was, it was so good until um, I gave myself an offering. Amen. So. <laughs> ah, Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Listen as I will read it into your hearing uh, on today. It says, um, And seeing the multitude, the crowd, uh, he, Jesus, went up into the mountain, and when... Uh, he was set. Uh, his disciples came unto him uh, and he opened his mouth uh, and taught them uh, saying these things. Blessed uh, are the poor in spirit for theirs uh, is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit uh, the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peace maker, for they shall be called the children of God. Uh, notice that says peacemaker, not peace breaker. Uh, blessed are they which uh, are persecuted for righteousness sake uh, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are you ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake uh, rejoice and be exceedingly glad uh, for great is uh, your reward for so persecuted uh, they are they they the prophets uh, which were before you so if if they were persecuted uh, and you are believing in the same gospel uh, that they believe then uh, then you can expect it as uh, well uh, um, wrestle with this one as well but uh, going simple with it of what it is called uh, the Sermon on the Mount I want to deal with the segment of the sermon uh, for today called uh, the Beatitudes amen just shake it neighbor's hand and say the Beatitudes be be attitudes amen uh, and you may be seated in the house of uh, the Lord amen uh, uh, Jesus is up on a mountain uh, we're simple and succinct in uh, uh, this session uh, and he is giving uh, uh, his followers, uh, his students, uh, uh, his uh, étudiants, amen, uh, uh, a sermon. Uh, and in this segment of uh, the sermon, uh, uh, he gives them uh, uh, what is uh, uh, affectionately called the Beatitudes, obviously, uh, because they all begin uh, with blessed or uh, be. And uh, they all have something to do with shaping uh, a person's uh, attitude. So obviously, hence the word uh, be attitude. Now, uh, before we, and that's all we're basically going to do in this message, is tiptoe through this text and let the text tell of the truth. We can find some holy help for hence to help us uh, on our highway to heaven. I hope you're interested in this. But I want to I wanna, uh, first introduce... Uh, uh, this by uh, sharing that uh, I'm certain you will uh, agree with me that uh, a person's uh, attitude, uh, as the cliche says, uh, can determine uh, their altitude. In other words, the kind of attitude you have uh, can determine uh, how high and uh, how far you will go in this life there are some people uh, that I have uh, run across I know you probably haven't but some folk I've run across uh, who have uh, been uh, gorgeous uh, physically uh, on the outer appearance uh, but their attitude was so nasty 
it made them ugly. Y'all ain't talking to me here. A amen, amen. Uh, look like Beyonce on the outside. Uh, but look ugly. You know, that's ugly. <laughs> on the inside. And if you are ugly on the inside, I assure you, uh, you are ugly on the outside. I don't know how you feel about it, uh, but uh, uh, I don't really enjoy being around folk uh, who have a nasty attitude. I wish I had a witness in here. You, uh, you, don't, you don't have to be rich and wealthy but you can at least have a, a good attitude. I wish I had a witness in here. And, and many times, uh, a bad attitude uh, is what will break up organizations uh, and families. Y'all don't hear me up in here because uh, people are unsympathetic uh, to what others are experiencing and going through. Uh, and sometimes uh, they have done uh, and been through some even worse things. Uh, but when somebody else is going through, uh, they can't understand. And so they've got a nasty attitude. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. And I, I just want to share with you that, that, that a bad attitude uh, can break up any organization or family. Uh, the bad attitude that's set before here. Uh, they demand a philosophy of life, a standard of behavior, a spiritual resource of divine power. They leave us uh, awed at times. When we look at them, uh, uh, they've been studied uh, down through the annals uh, of time. Uh, for the Beatitudes demand absolute and undiluted uh, perfection, if you will, uh, in order to be able to perform uh, each of these. But... Uh, the record is the only person uh, who lived uh, that kind of life uh, envisioned in the beatitude uh, uh, that demand uh, uh, in this sermon here was the Lord Jesus uh, himself. And so he lived this life openly before his family, his friends, his foes, uh, and yes, his father up in heaven. Day after day, we see it in the life of Jesus. And so, I'm so glad I had the opportunity to share with you on this morning how the Lord Jesus went through uh, the water baptism, not because uh, he needed salvation like you and I need salvation, because he is salvation, but he did it to show that I, will, I being your savior, your leader, your master, your Lord, I, I will not. I will never ask you to do anything that I am not willing, y'all ain't talking to me up in here, to endure and to do myself. And so I hope you are interested in this for a little while on today. Let's, un let's unfold and unpack this, uh, uh, if you will, uh, in these beatitudes that Jesus teaches uh, to his uh, followers to his disciples and to the us to us uh, uh he says the first thing uh, you ought to be concerned about is uh, submission submission uh, in verse uh, number three he says uh, blessed are the poor in spirit uh, for theirs is uh, the kingdom of heaven now all he's simply saying is uh, that god blesses uh, those people uh, who depend uh, on him uh, and they belong uh, to the kingdom uh, of heaven when he says uh, blessed is the poor in spirit that please understand uh, that this is new testament writing so greek writing you see the word spirit it's a lowercase s uh, so it does not refer to the holy spirit uh, the third person of the holy trinity but the word spirit there refers to what to a human spirit so what he's saying is uh, is look uh, the man uh, who has if you will uh, less of himself uh, and recognizes uh, in your spirit man uh, that everything you have uh, it is because of uh, 
of the goodness uh, and the grace of God. Uh, and so what happens is, he's saying, uh, your spirit man uh, takes less place inside of you because uh, the other spirit man, uh, which is the capital S, uh, Holy Spirit, uh, is to have control uh, of our lives. Uh, oh, somebody just got a blessing. Uh, you've been reading these Beatitudes for years and you didn't understand what he was talking about that. Talking about being poor in spirit. He said less of your spirit and more of the Holy Spirit which causes you to totally depend upon the Lord. Hunt your neighbor and say submission, 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 submission. First thing is submission. The second thing he talks about in this passage is uh, sorrow. He says, uh, verse number four, blessed are they that mourn uh, for they shall be comforted as a child of God. Uh, there are some times uh, on this Christian journey that you will grieve, uh, but don't get caught up in the fact of that. He's saying that you're going to have some sorrows there. No, don't, don't start having a pity party and, and thinking, oh Lord, why me? I'm the only one that's going through. You know the Bible say that I was going to have to grieve. Listen, uh, he comes right back uh, and say you will grieve, uh, but also you're going to have some comfort. Y'all ain't, ain't, ain't feel in other words, what he's saying is that for every situation uh, that you go through, uh, that it's already been designed uh, as a setup. Uh, uh, every time that you get knocked down, uh, it's so you can get picked back up. Uh, every time you get a setback, uh, it's for your comeback. Listen, you're going to grieve, uh, but right behind the grief uh, is some sorrow, uh, is some comfort coming. Do I have any up in there? No wonder the psalmist says, uh, Psalm 30 and verse number 5, he said, Weeping uh, may endure for for a night. Y'all ain't talking about I got any Bible readers in here. Val, you remember that in the scripture. He said, but if you hold on through the night, uh, what's going to happen? Uh, you got some joy. I wish you'd tap somebody and say, joy, 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 joy. Jesus' joy is coming in the morning. What happens? He's teaching them now here about submission, about sorrow, about salvation. Uh, he says, verse number five, uh, blessed are the meek for they shall uh, inherit uh, the earth. Uh, he said, God blesses uh, those people uh, who are humble. He says, the earth belongs to them. Now watch this, y'all. Watch this. Uh, 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 uh. He says, uh, you got to humble yourself. Uh, 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 not, 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 now listen, uh, be aware as he's up on this mountain teaching them disciples for stuff he see that's up the road and stuff, stuff he saw the cross and that kind of stuff and court the court and all that stuff for himself but also some of the same folks he's teaching uh, 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 are gonna get stoned to death uh, one fellow's uh, uh, gonna have his head chopped off and and hung upside down on the cross y'all don't hear me so you see what's uh, up ahead. So in other words, uh, he's preparing them uh, and you and I that when you humble yourself, uh, be aware that oftentimes uh, folk will take your meekness as a weakness. In other words, uh, sometimes uh, people, if you will, will get it twisted. Just because uh, you did not go off on them. Just because uh, you did not cut them everywhere but under the bottom of their feet. Y'all ain't talking to me up in there. Somehow might get it twisted. I, I done sold them a wolf ticket. See, they scared of me. But what he's saying is, uh, don't be deceived. Uh, that listen, uh, you got to humble yourself. Uh, but look, don't you be fooled at the same time. Just because somebody is humbling themselves. Don't, don't end up pushing them too far. I wish I had a witness up in here. One, one fellow said, you know, the Lord said you ought to turn the other cheek. He said, I ain't got but two of them after the second one. 